Hey everybody, JR Specie here with another video and today we're doing a little fan mail day. Uh, I received these three packages from some subscribers um, and I really appreciate it. Uh, this one I'm not sure who it's from, it doesn't have a return address on it. Uh, I think it looks like there's some cards in there. Uh, this one's from, uh, with the Mick covering it up, it's, his address is from D. Schlinvot, I think, or Schlinvot. Uh, that one's coming from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and this one is uh, is from uh, a guy named Michael Dow, and I got a little story about his uh, his package. He sent me his collection, basically, uh, um, some stuff that he knew I'd appreciate and would go to a good home because you guys know I love collecting and I still PC 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 all the time. I do sell a lot of cards, but that's just to fund the stuff that I want to keep. So, I'm as much a collector as I am a seller. And anyways, uh, so without further ado, let's get into this stuff. We'll try this one here first, see what it's at. Put her down here just a little tiny bit. Okay, let's see here. Well, let's see. I don't want to struggle too much getting this open. Here we go. Alright, let's see here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I wish I knew who sent me these. We got an 84 Tops Leader with Nolan Ryan, Steve Carlton, and Tom Seaver. That'd be a cool card to get signed by all three, wouldn't it? And then an old George Brett sticker. That one looks like it's a uh, uh, 81. That's an old 81 sticker, top sticker, album sticker. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Love those old powder blue uniforms. There's a nice 1981 Tops Reggie Jackson. There's the back for you. That's an old penny sleeve right there. Back when they made them this big and out of this material. Yeah, that's an oldie. And then Cliff Johnson, 1978 tops. So whoever sent these to me, I thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, I'd love to know who it was so I could thank you uh, personally. Look at that, Cliff Johnson. He was a DH, a catcher, and a first baseman. So... Fielding position, catcher, I mean, not everybody can do catcher plus, but I always think that a catcher makes the best first baseman because they're so used to picking balls out of the dirt. So that's pretty cool. So thank you so much, guys. All right, next. Let's see if I can open this one without showing uh, the, oh, the ad. I'll, I'll blur that out uh, in case you saw the address down there. This is pretty cool. I just found this in a box. Uh, some, someone else gave to me, actually. <laughs> Um, it was a friend of mine. He just gave me his cards because he just didn't want them anymore and he knew that I'd appreciate them. I was digging through them and it was mostly common stuff, uh, junk wax era stuff, but that's okay. You never know what you're going to find. And I found this 89 starting lineup, Baseball Greats. This is the one that had uh, Mickey and I think Raj. Yeah, I think Roger was with him in this one. Yeah, it was a, it was a two. Here, I'll show you a picture of it right here. There you go. The two uh, figure set and... Uh, pretty cool but here's the back of the card it's got all Mickey's uh you know the majority of his batting records plus his World Series records he's got a record for most home runs of all time in World Series history with 18 that's a pretty that's pretty cool probably never gonna beat that look at how many years they were in the World Series 51 52 53 55 56 57 58 60 61 62 63 64 pretty impressive so that's that. Uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't win after 61. Um, but look, they went seven games in 62 and 64. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they didn't win after 61. So that's a pretty cool card. All right, let's get into this other one. Okay, now this one says, please open in a video. Thanks. But then it's all crossed off and it says, never mind. So I don't know if you got shy, but we're going to open it on here anyways. But I'll open it and make sure there's nothing personal in here. Personal information or something he doesn't want on video. Take the tape off there. Oh, cool. This is great. Oh, man. 
This is from Derek. Now I remember who. I recognize the last name. I couldn't remember the first name. But yeah, this is cool. Check it out, guys. I got to show this off. I remember Derek um, messaged me and said, uh, Hey, do you mind if I send you some cards? This is cool. And I got an autographed card of him. Thanks, Derek. This is awesome. I was thinking about having some cards made up of myself, too, from back in my playing day. I played baseball all the way through college, and uh, I thought about trying to find some old picture of me playing and having some of the tops cards made up, but that's awesome. I love that. That one's going to stay in the background for a while. All right, I'm going to pause it real quick, read his uh, card here, and make sure it's okay to send back, or to read on, online. Hold on a second. All right, it looks like I can read this on here. It says, Hi, my name is Derek. Uh, and his last name is, uh, I believe it's, I get a, sorry Derek if I pronounce it wrong, uh, Schlinvot, or Schlinvot, uh, says I'm a huge fan. I love watching your TTM videos and have learned many things. I enclose some really cool Yankee cards and rookies. I am working, uh, on now a collection of Brett Favre rookies, if you have one, or if you have, um, I PC Reggie White. Thanks. And I got another autograph right there. Man, we love autographs here. Yeah, Derek. <clears throat> um, I definitely got uh, a lot of Brett Favre rookies. I definitely got a lot of Reggie White cards. Uh, and I am definitely going to send some your way. So let's take a look at the cards you sent me. <clears throat> Sparky Lyle, 78 tops record breaker. Sparky, um, I just sent to him. And I think he charged... I can't remember. You guys will know better than I do. I can't remember if he signed any or if he sent me back something asking for money or I don't remember. Nice Deion Sanders second year. Well, technically a third year. His rookie was uh, 89, uh, like they were in the traded sets and update sets. Oh, 78 Thurman Munson, the captain. <clears throat> love Thurman Munson. And I just love the old uh, catcher's gear. Oop, losing our focus a little bit there. Love the old catcher's gear there. Catfish Hunter. I've had many of his autographs over the years. He passed away in 1997 from Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, and Thurman, obviously, you guys know he passed away in August of 79 in a plane crash. It's very, very sad. Andy Bennis, rookie, a uh, super touted prospect. Uh, he actually he did, he played for a little while. Uh, he, had a, he had a solid uh, handful of years in the major leagues. Robin Ventura, one of my favorite Mets when he was playing with them. Third baseman, very reliable hitter. Pudge Rodriguez, Hall of Fame rookie right there. 91 down rest of the rookies. Thanks, Derek. And David Dahl. I like this guy. I've been going out to the Rockies games because I live out here in Utah now. Uh, being from New York but living out here for the last eight years, uh, I can't get enough of baseball. So I travel out to Denver to watch when the Rockies play the Mets. And I usually go out one more time during my birthday and watch a three or four game series. And then I don't really care who they're playing then. But I always go out when the Mets come to Colorado. So thanks, Derek. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, I'm definitely gonna get you. Uh, we're definitely gonna get you some cards in the mail. I'm saving your address here, and uh, I'll be looking through some stuff today because I gotta package up some stuff for eBay. I'm definitely gonna find you some stuff. Reggie White, and I just sent a Reggie White rookie in a hot pack that I sold. So I'll see if I got another one for you. Alrighty, and then this last box is from. Okay, so this one's from Michael Dow right here. He lives out in basically in Queensbury, Glens Falls, New York area. And he sent me his collection because he has stage 4 cancer. And he's about my age, exactly my age, I believe. He's about 40, 41, 39, something around that, that age. Uh, and... He, uh, he, I think he found out he had cancer, and it was already stage 4 lung cancer. And now it's spread throughout his entire chest. And um, I'm pretty sure they don't know what they can do at this point. He's still going through treatment. He's been going through them for quite a long time. Um, and uh, basically the goal is to give him a few more years. So any of you subscribers that are prayers... Um, uh, or anybody who's not a subscriber, hopefully you will subscribe, but uh, anybody who's watching this, subscriber or not, if you guys pray, uh, I really would, would ask that you'd pray for, for Mike. <clears throat> and we don't want a few more years for him. We want 
him to be cured of cancer. We want the doctors to find a treatment that's going to work and not only give him a few more years, but give him several more decades. Um, he's got a few young children and a wife, and he's a super nice guy. Um, you know, and I know this personally. He's a very nice guy, uh, and his kids are awesome, uh, and uh, they need their dad. So uh, some of you may not uh, be religious. You may not believe in God. You may not pray, and if that's the case, that's okay. I'm asking the ones who do believe in the power of prayer, if you wouldn't mind saying a prayer for Mike, um, that that we'd be able to figure out uh, that the doctors would find a treatment that works for him and kills the cancer in his body, and then he can raise his kids for uh, for several more decades. So with that being said, let's take a look. <clears throat> and that's the reason that he said that he gave me this. He said, you know, he's got the cancer and he doesn't know how long he has and uh, he's still gonna collect um, but uh, he said that he wanted these to go to someone who would appreciate them and he knew that that would be me so I'm very grateful for this uh, and I'm touched by it and I'm also um, I'm humbled and I'm, I'm sad because I just feel bad uh, but anyways uh, <clears throat> without further ado let's take a look at this all right, I'm going to pull this off camera, just so that way uh, <clears throat> I can show, show you guys things better. So Mike, we're, we're praying for you. You know I've been praying for you. I told you. And I try to do it as periodically as possible, like, like on a regular basis. Uh, not just once. I don't pray once. Even though, you, you know, even though I believe that you don't have to pray a million times, you can pray once and God hears you and He gets it. Uh, but I like to just keep reminding God that uh, we we really want Him to to work a miracle for Him. Anyways, sorry about that and getting emotional, uh, but I'm I'm pretty passionate about uh, people and I love people and uh, especially good people. Uh, so okay, starting off, looks like this is I think this is an '82 sticker album. This is awesome. These are the original albums, and you could put them in your binder. That's why those holes are punched there. <clears throat> and you'd, you'd open up your sticker packs, and you want to hear something funny, I've actually got, um, I think I've got a few unopened boxes of the 82 stickers. I think these are 82s. I'm pretty sure these are 82s. It um, doesn't have a date in here, but it's pretty cool. Very cool. I mean, I, I like these. These are an unused condition. Very nice condition. I'm pretty sure these are 82s, yeah. Because my box has this Fernando card on the cover. And here's what I like about it. It's made in the USA. Yeah. So let's take a look here real quick. I'm just going to see. Yep, this is all. Oh, this one's got a sticker in it. Rick Monday. That's cool. I think I wrote to him. Or I'm going to write to him. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be fun to go through this and just... Oh, what is that? Oh, almost looked like Mark McGuire right there. But it's uh, Rick Burleson. <laughs> pretty cool. Oh, there's some more. Hey, we got Pete Rose in this one. Nice. That's cool. Tug McGraw. <laughs> Alrighty. So there's those. Sorry. I, I get a little bit distracted. I'm sitting there looking at those because I was thinking that they're so cool. Alrighty. Alright guys. I was just going to take a quick peek over here. In this box. This box is loaded full. And uh, the post office definitely did not handle it very well. Um, I sent a picture to Mike. I was like, man, they did not handle this very well. And... Uh, he sent me a picture when he sent it with the tracking and stuff, and the box was in mint condition. And then when I got it, it was all smashed and dirty, and I'm like, golly, this thing fall off the truck in the freeway or something? Right, let's take a look here. Nice 87 Roger Clemens. Gary Sheffield, rookie. Ken Griffey Jr., Austin Riley, rookie. Ooh, Gavin Lux, rookie. Nice old 82 Don Russ, uh, Ozzie Smith. Ryan Sandberg, nice Barry Larkin, Hall of Fame rookie there. Kyle Ripken Jr., 87 tops, Nolan Ryan, ooh, Mike Messina, that's the gold winner's second year card, that's pretty cool, that's very cool, I don't have that one, ooh, some nice old tops black golds from, I think these are from 93, uh, I think they're from 93, might be from 92 actually, Jeter, my man, nice old flagship tops Jeter, 2009, uh, during his playing days, there's a nice 91 classic best chipper, 
I just got the Jim Tome graded like this. Came back a Jim Mint 10. So that's cool to have the chipper. Uh, I'll take a look at that one a little bit closer and see if I want to grade it or just keep it in the PC like that. There's a Pudge, Binder League, Tulsa Drillers, and that's the uh, Macon Braves. Jeff Kent, great ball player, came up through the Mets organization uh, for a minute. Uh, Knoxville Blue Jays, pretty cool. Nice Pedro. That's a like a true true rookie year, anyways, because his rookie card was a 91 final uh, edition, even though a lot of people consider 92 as rookie cards. Technically, 91 upper deck final edition, but that's the uh, San Antonio Missions. Second year gold cup card of Pudge Rodriguez. Very cool. Alrighty. Yeah, Mike knows. Mike's known I've been a collector for a long, long time, and uh, it never gets old for me. I just always love collecting. There's a good rookie, Kyle Tucker. He's going to be. I think he's going to be a pretty good stud in the uh, in Major League Baseball. There's a nice old uh, Alex Rodriguez. I think that's a <clears throat> that's a second year. Yeah, 95, 95 uh, collector's choice, but still a pretty cool card. George Williams. Signature. I almost bought some of these packs uh, with the one signature per pack, but I ended up getting outbid a little while back. I was, oh, I was so looking forward to opening. There's like 26 packs um, that somebody had, and I was going to open them all on camera, but I ended up getting outbid. <laughs> nice McGuire, what people consider his rookie card, even though he had the 85 tops Olympic card. That's technically his uh, true rookie card. Uh, nice uh, 89 Bonds. 82 George Brett Diamond King. I love Diamond Kings, especially autographed. It'd be so cool to get that autographed. Uh, George Brett, I have seen him sign a little bit uh, in Cooperstown, but usually he does it pretty angrily. <laughs> Manny Ramirez, rookie. <clears throat> Andres Galarraga, tops traded. There's a nice Barry Bonds, tops rookie. And a nice tops traded, 86 tops traded rookie. Another nice Barry Bonds, 87 flare. Great, these are awesome. Yeah, I like these. Uh, Barry Bonds, 86 Donruss, love him. Kenny Lofton, let's see, this would be his, uh, I believe his rookie cards, 91 Bowman. I think that's his only rookie, I think, I could be wrong, uh, but most of his cards came out in 92. Another Pedro, second year. Randy Johnson, let's look in the background, can we see Marlboro? Nope, okay, so it's not the Marlboro, one of the Marlboro variations. Uh, just quick quick note for you guys back here this big billboard behind his head said marlboro and they pulled the card and they basically tried to color it in and there's different variations of uh green and i think reddish um there's a lot of different variations but if you can find one where it says marlboro you can read it clear that is a big money card they pulled that one early in production uh jim edmonds nine league card oh now this card i have loved forever the 92 Classic Best Mike Piazza. That card is one of my favorite Piazza cards. It's not worth a million dollars, you know. but you know me. I don't collect cards because they're worth a lot of money. Like Some of them I just love because I love the card, and this is one of them. You know, it's probably, it's a, it's probably worth, I don't know. I mean, you could probably buy it on eBay for five bucks, but uh, I love this card, and I would love to own this one, a PSA 10 Gem Mint. That's sick. It's slightly off-centered left to right, just a touch. Top to bottom looks really good. Um, but I think that they would probably... They could possibly give this thing a 10 if everything else works out on it. But it's a sick card. I love it. Oh, man. Look at that, guys. Thanks, Mike. Kyle Ripken Jr. rookie. Very nicely centered for the most part. I mean, it's probably 60-40 uh, left to right and... 65 35 top to bottom but that card is nice clean very nice Kyle Ripken Jr. Hall of Fame rookie one of the most iconic cards in all of 80s baseball Jim Edmonds super underrated uh, player I really thought he had a shot at getting into the Hall of Fame um, he was a phenomenal hitter and one of the greatest center fielders in my generation so Jim Edmonds 93 tops that's a series 2 rookie Jeter's rookies in this in the series one set. Series two, they did these coming attractions, and I love them. 87 tops, George Brett. Okay, I'm gonna stick these over here. But man, there's some good cards there. I'm gonna I should start pulling some of these out and sticking them up here. Ripken, 
put it in the background here. I love this Piazza, absolutely love it. And then there's some other good ones like the Bond rookies and stuff, but I don't know if I have enough room for everything here. Put out some of these cards that are that are I like, and I like a lot of these things. <clears throat> Let me just take a quick buzz here, guys, and see if I want to pull anything out in specific. There's a nice Gavin Lux. Nice rookie. Oh, Jeter, I want to pull all the Jeter. I love these classic bests. These 91 classic bests. These are freaking awesome. Uh, I'm just going to keep them in the pile, though, because I don't have a lot of room. I have a lot of cards to go through. All right, here's one of my favorite sets of all time. The early flare cards. This, G uh, this Griffey is beautiful. I love the old 93, 94 flare. Even 95 was really cool. Uh, but 94 and 93 are my favorites. I'm putting that one up here. There's a nice picture of the back. I always love these flares. Putting it right here by Derek. Oh, man. There's so many cool cards I can just see on the tops here, guys. All right, let's take a look here. Bo Jax! Oh, Jeter! You guys know my uh, infatuation with Jeter. been collecting him since 1997. I'll tell you a funny story. There was a period where I was trading any Jeter cards to an old guy, uh, and I was trading him for Ken Griffey Jr. rookies. He was trading me straight up, book value for book value. I'd give him Jeter base cards of any years for... Um, Ken Griffey Jr. rookies. Now, for a long time after, I realized, wow, that was a bad trade. I should have kept my Jeter because Jeter was so hot. But, of course, now Griffey's stuff is picking back up. So I've still got all the Griffey rookies. I've got – someday I will show you guys my collection of Griffey rookies. And someday maybe I'll show you my collection of Jeter rookies. But I'm, I've got hundreds of Jeter rookies. But I've got almost a 1,000 Griffey rookies. Now, that's not all Upper Deck. That's Donruss. That's Flair. Tops traded. Score traded. Um, Donruss, uh, best rookies, you know, or the Donruss best, uh, um, so, and, and upper deck, so on and so forth, but I've got a ton of Griffey rookies, and someday I'll show you the box, they're all in a shoe box, um, uh, a baseball card shoe box, you know, so beautiful Bo Jackson, 87 Flair rookie, love it, I don't know if I can get all these cards on camera, but, and I'm putting Jeter right there in the middle, because Jeter's my dude, oh, that's a sick Bobby Bonilla back with the White Sox, I love it. Gary Sheff Sheffield rookie, Lee Smith rookie, <clears throat> big unit Randy Johnson rookie, oh Noah Thor Syndergaard, is that a rookie? 2014, I think that is a rookie, that's awesome, I don't I don't have that card for sure, oh nice Bo Bichette, New Age Performers, uh, Heritage rookie, another Bo Bichette, that card is sick, Anthony K, another Bo, yes, I've been collecting Bo rookies big time. Uh, another bow opening day, opening day, Donruss, Donruss. <gasps> Shut up, Mike. Oh, my gosh. Shut up. That is ridiculously sick, man. That is so cool. I do not have a bow autograph. I have not gotten one. I've been wanting to get one to add to the PC. That is so freaking awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this. This is a wonderful gift. I really appreciate it. Holy smokes. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. I gotta. I almost got to take a second. Hold on a second. I got to pause it for a second. I need to just take a minute. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to take a minute uh, just to take that in. I mean, I've gotten some great cards here. <clears throat> the Ripken rookie, Jeter rookies, all these nice rookies, a bunch of other good cards, and then a Bo Bichette rookie, or rookie auto. That is just awesome. Some nice Jordans, nice Pete Alonso second year uh, with the cup. Rookie debut, Vlad. Vlad, uh, was that UD number one or, yeah, US number one. That's the update series rookie. Nice Jordan opening day rookie. Only guy I'd ever have, uh, what was it, a rookie cup? A rookie cup on his rookie card. <laughs> Something like that. That's freaking cool. I can't wait to watch that guy play when baseball starts. I can't wait to watch a lot of these guys play because some of these new young guys, man, they are just beasts. And I am hoping like crazy that they are not 
uh, doing steroids. All right, here's a beautiful card here, guys. Ken Griffey Jr. tops traded, going in the PC with all the other ones. Let's see the condition of that one. Good subgrades, nine five eight five nine nine five. So it's a true, pretty true nine. Very nice. I love it. I'll take every Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card I can get, as well as my Jeters and, well, basically any Hall of Fame rookie. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we got here. Handful more bricks here, guys. Don't worry, the box isn't completely full of cards, so this won't take forever, 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 because I got some more of those awesome albums in here, which I'm totally stoked about, because I love old... If you guys look at my, uh, in every one of my descriptions uh, under my video, it always says I love anything old paper, and that includes any magazines, uh, so I'm totally happy to have a bunch of these um, old albums. Nice 84 George Brett All-Star. Just got one of these graded. Came back a 9. Uh, nice Tony Gwynn 84. Paul Molitor. I always love these cards. When I started collecting, I just thought that uh, 84 tops are so cool. And uh, I just, I remember I took a, a Ricky Henderson 84 tops. I was in 4th grade. I put it in my Beckett. I just kind of stuffed it in. You know, like where the, the, the it opens. I stuffed it into the binding area. And then uh, I kept it in there to keep it in mint condition, you know, because I just traded a kid with for it. And uh, throughout the day, at one some point or another, I rolled up the magazine and, uh, you know, like rolled it up and stuffed it in my pocket, my back pocket. And unfortunately, the card was in there and I just, I just had like crease lines because I rolled the card. <laughs> but, well, what are you going to do? Uh, Harold Bain, second year, very nice. Ozzy Smith, 82 tops and 84. Uh, I believe 82 tops traded is the first card of him in his Cardinals uniform. Another nice 84 Brett, the base card. A uh, nice 82 Eddie Murray. Lots of Hall of Famers here. These cards are clean too, super nice. Nice Nolan Ryan. I'm going to I'm gonna have to look closely at some of these. Some of these might be um, slab candidates for uh, PSA. Uh, George Brett, 82. Nice Reggie Jackson. Beautiful Ricky Henderson. I, I still, I don't know, I still like, I still like the old Ricky Hendersons. And Ozzy, there's Manny, before he was being Manny, 1992 Classic Best. i got to buy boxes of these, 92 and 91. I love the old Classic Bests. Andy Pettit, 92 Classic Best, nice card there. Ruben Sierra, big stud in the late 80s, early 90s. Andres Galarraga, the big cat, 86, uh, uh, little, little, uh, uh, Don Rust the Rookies, rookie. Nice, uh, Andrelton Simmons, I think he's over on the Angels now. All right, nice Mike Schmidt, 84 tops, beautiful. Ooh, Dave Henderson. He just recently passed away, unfortunately. Uh, big Dave Henderson. Uh, so, rest in peace, Dave Henderson. But that's his rookie, very cool. All right, next group, guys. Man, I'm still just, I'm still so stoked about that Boba Shot auto. And I'm also stoked about the Jeter rookie, the Ripken rookie, and the Griffey rookie, and that Piazza back there. So cool. Okay, nice 82 tops. Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. Oh, Myers Leonard. That's pretty cool. Out of, uh, I think that's last year's Don Russ. No, this, oh, it's the, it's the 1920. Ah, that's the new stuff there. Man, I wish I would have bought all the boxes of this stuff. <gasps> Gosh! Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. Steph Curry auto. This autograph is guaranteed by Panini America. Holy crap. That is a super <laughs> winner, too. Oh my gosh, I've never owned a Steph Curry autograph. And I will never sell the card. That's PC for life. That is another one where I need to take a minute, you guys. But I'm not gonna because... Holy crap, you guys. That is freaking awesome. Mike, dude. Dude. Alright, if we ever meet up, uh, when I come back out to New York... You got a big steak dinner or whatever you want waiting for you. Oh, my gosh. Holy smokes, that's so freaking awesome. 
you, you you've given me cards I'll, I've never owned and have wanted to own, like the like a Bow Auto, Steph Curry Auto. I just I couldn't I just never could pay for them. Basically, they're just so much money, and I was like, eh, I'd rather put that much money into a bunch of you know whatever Jeter rookies or something like that. But man, you hooked me up, Zion rookie guys, Don Russ. And then another hoop Zion rookie that's sick. This guy is such a beast. I love watching him play. I cannot wait till basketball starts. And a prism draft pick Zion. Holy smokes. I got to put these down somewhere too, but I don't have a spot for them. All right, that's it. Zions are going up here. There you go, just so you guys can kind of see. Nice 68 Fergie Jenkins. Nice Lee Smith rookie. Nice tops rookie. Very nice. RJ Barrett, this guy right here is currently, as far as I'm concerned, slightly underrated. He's gonna his cards should go up. I mean his cards are already selling well, but another nice Zion. Very nice. Do not have this card arriving now. That's going up here in the pile. Another nice RJ Barrett. Minka Fitzpatrick. There's a great uh there's a great football rookie. He's a he's a super hot cornerback who should uh you know Possibly be like the next Champ Bailey, Charles Woodson. I mean, he's this guy right here is good. I mean, he has he has a chance to be a great one in the NFL. He's not a slouch at all. Nice 84 Ryan Sandberg, beautiful 82 Carl Yastrzemski, 78 tops Carlton Fisk. Shortly, a few years after he hit the home run that curved around the foul pole, uh, 84 Reggie. 84 Nolan and a beautiful 82 Ricky. I love old Ricky cards. I don't know why. I met Ricky a few times. I was not impressed by his attitude and personality, but I think the cards are awesome because they're like kind of like from my uh, childhood. <laughs> Nostalgic. All right, let's see. We got some cool football in this and this little grouping here. Daniel Jones can possibly be the new quarterback for the uh, New York Giants. <clears throat> we'll see how everything goes. DK Metcalf. Um, Nick Bosa. Nice Ty Montgomery. Score auto. That's pretty sick. I love, uh, I don't know why, I still love score autographs. Uh, Romeo Langford. There's a good one. Trey Young. Is that a rookie? Second year. 1920. Wait, his, no, his rookie year is... Yeah, 1819. Sorry, I get my years mixed up. Nice Drew Locke. There's a nice Rui Hachimura. Out of 25. Holy crap. That's sick. With the cracked dice style, Panini Contenders. That's a sick card right there. Very nice. Thank you, man. Tyler Hero. Nice RJ Barrett. That's a Orange Crusades. Not numbered, but super cool. Orange Crusades Prism. Very nice. Rui Hachimura. Another nice Daniel Jones. These look like the 96 scoreboard cards, like these these hits this year. They look like, uh, look like the old ones. Nice Christian McCaffrey rookie. Dwayne Haskins. Another Daniel Jones. Marquise Brown. Kevin Herter. Nice R.J. Barrett there, too. Very nice. Uh, graded or uh, numbered, but not this one, apparently. This is the blue. I can't remember what, the, I can't remember what all these prisms are called. Daniel Gafford, and a nice old, that's a 64 Philadelphia, I believe. Don't quote me, though. Uh, let's see. I think it is. But that's a sick old Mike Ditka card. What a beast, man. He's, look at that big, fat head. That's all muscle in that head. <laughs> my flash just went off because my phone got too warm. So I'm going to pause the video and let my phone cool down and then get back to it, okay? Hold on a second. All right, everybody, we are back. All right, the phone's cooled off a little bit. I just go stick it in the freezer for five, six minutes. All right, next, look at that, guys. 2005 Justin Verlander rookie. That's like a prospect type card because I think his rookie card is 06. That is awesome. That's co He's got his college numbers here, Old Dominion, if I can get the thing to focus here. Come on now. There you go. Old Dominion. So that is a super sick card. Kent Herbeck rookie. Herbie, great hitter. Great hitter for average for the uh, for the Twins back in the day. Palomero rookie. Very nice. Should be Hall of Famer. I wish he didn't do steroids. Um, I don't think he needed them. He was a freaking amazing hitter with a great eye. 
Kyle Ripken 89 tops, still one of my favorite sets. I love all the old sets though. Biggio, second year card. Oh, technically third year card because his rookie was in uh, 88. Uh, Flair and score. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, 87 Donruss, uh, or 87 tops, Don Mattingly. One of the greatest poses for a car. I just always love this card. A great picture of Don, Donnie Baseball. There's an 82 Nolan Ryan Diamond King. Always love that card. But always love to get it signed right here. There's an awesome 87 tops Jose Canseco. I told you guys I have his info. I'm going to try to do a signing with him, but I need five grand. <laughs> so we're working on it. Uh, but not until after I, I get my... Uh, 93 finest boxes out of Hawk. <laughs> the ones I took a loan out on, I'm trying to buy back right now. Uh, nice Tom Seaver. Uh, that's a, obviously an airbrushed hat. Uh, you can usually tell if it looks airbrushed. Look back here, and, and if it says, uh, gosh, I'm sorry, I'm having issues with my focus today. If it has a different team, then that's the hat he was most likely wearing in the picture. And then they airbrushed it, so, or superimposed it. Danny Ainge, uh, second year card. That's super sick. Look at him. He's all tall and lanky. Danny, you know what you should do? You should go play basketball. Okay, I'll go play basketball and I'll have a great career. Doesn't he look like a basketball player? I mean, he's so skinny and stuff. He looks like he should be on the, on the basketball court, which is obviously what he did, for those of you who don't know. Uh, nice Robin Yount. Always loved this card. I always loved all these old cards. You know, these Hall of Famers. Boggs, I love the 84 tops. I don't know why. In the 83s. Uh, Ozzie Smith. I gotta do a break sometime. I got boxes of this stuff unopened. Nice John Cruck rookie. That's uh, out of the tops traded. Nice Pete Rose. Always love the Pete Roses. Nice Tony Gwen 87 tops. I just got this one graded, guys. It came back a Gem Mint 10 by PSA. That's pretty cool. And there's the Ricky. The rolled up Ricky I had. Except for this one's not the exact card, but that's the awesome card I had that I accidentally rolled up in my Beckett. <laughs> back in fourth grade. All right, guys, I got a few more stacks here. Oh, man, my dude, Daryl. Look at the centering on that thing. That thing is perfectly centered. Look at that guy. I mean, top to bottom, maybe the slightest bit off, but, but that card is basically perfectly centered. Oh, nice. David Wright. This is the year I went and, and seen David play for the first time. 2005, I took my sister down there. It was his rookie season. And I instantly knew um, he was going to be a star, and I started collecting his stuff. That was, uh, uh, was it 05? I believe it was 05. Um, I took my sister down there. Back when I was living in New York, we went down to, to City Field and got to watch. No, that was back when it was still Shea State. I can't remember if it was Shea or City. Right around then, that's when they... No, I think it was still Shea. It was. I think they switched in for the 09 season. Anyways, shut up. <laughs> David Wright, awesome Future Stars card with Craig Brazel, who was a bust. Alrighty, nice Javi Lopez, 93, his rookie year is 91, so don't let this fool you. But it's a Topps Gold, very cool, very cool card right there. Uh, Johnny Bench, another nice Cal, I got this one graded too, come back at 9. Oh, Bryce Harper, that's a 12, isn't it? Oh, it's 14, sorry. I thought that was a, a rookie, but still, super cool. Very nice. And that right to the Bryce Harper PC. Nice Aloy. This guy, I can't wait to watch him hit, man. I love this guy. Nick Bosa rookie again. The Bosa boys are awesome. Kyler Murray. It's my first Kyler Murray rookie. I don't have any of his rookies. I have a lot of products um, <laughs> like uh, prisms and stuff that are unopened. I possibly have a rookie in there, but uh, I don't have any single cards in. Now, that's one of my favorite cards of all time. 86 rookies bow. I keep forgetting to put the good cards, not the good cards, but the cards that I, I love the most out here. There's a lot. Sorry. There's the Tome. I got graded. Come back at PSA Jim Mint 10, 91 best. Another one of those cards I love. I got to get some boxes of that stuff. I can't wait. Oh, I love this card. This is another one with the Piazza that I've always loved. The Griffey 90, uh, this is the 92 classic best. I always love this card on the Spirit. Now, real quick, sorry this video is so long. Um, the Spirit, in his 1989 upper deck, he's actually wearing a Spirit hat. Uh, and it's airbrushed to, to be a... Uh, here, I'll, let me show you a picture right quick um, of, the, of the 91 upper deck. There you go. And uh, look at the S. It looks like this S right here, if I can focus it. Um... I'm trying to tip it like, I, like I'm tipping the hat down. Yeah, like you can see it any better. Anyways, um, 
uh, that was actually a spirit hat he was wearing uh, in that photograph. Uh, and then they airbrushed it to put him in like a Mariner's colors and stuff like that. There's a sick card, one of my favorite. I love the 86 rookies. They're iconic. I don't know if it's because they were popular when I was young and started collecting. But I absolutely love the 86 Consecos, Bows, Bonds. Shoot, even the Will Clark and stuff. I love those. Because Will Clark was a big deal back then. And you want to see something funny? Look at this, guys. They must have been there at the same day to take pictures because that looks like exactly the same picture. Look at his collar, even how his collar is, how his undershirt's kind of slightly coming out in basically exactly the same way. Um, that's funny because this one's done by a Topps photographer. This one will be done by a Donruss photographer, but doesn't that look like the exact same picture? And maybe it's not. I don't know. I I think it's the exact same picture. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The funny thing is, is that it's uh, one's Tops and one's Donruss. So I got to put the Conseco up here too because I always love the Conseco. I love these 89 Bowman. I'm, I'm going to try to get some boxes of these too. If I can pick them up. I just don't want to have stuff shipped because it's so expensive. But I want to rip some of this stuff. And I want to get some PSA 10s of 89 uh, Bowman because I love that set. It's a beautiful set. I love how there's just not a lot going on, just a big picture. And these are here actually the size of the cards uh, that they made up from 52 to 56. And that includes 53, 54, and 55 Bowman. These are the size of the cards, so I, I really like these cards. I like how big they are. And obviously got Griffey's rookie in there. Nice 82 Paul Molitor. Okay, guys, uh, a couple more here. All right, one of my favorite cards. I've always wanted autographed Jeter, Derek Jeter, or even right across the bottom here. But I love this. This is a 94 collector's choice art. Is it 95? I always get confused with these back then. This one's a 95. 95 collector's choice, probably a spring training picture. Um, in fact, I'm willing to bet it's spring training, but beautiful card. I love anything early Jeter. You guys know that. And speaking of Jeter, an upper deck rookie. Yeah, I love it. <clears throat> I can never have too many. Call it obsessive compulsive disorder. Call it what you want. I just love it, and they make me happy. They lower my blood pressure and create less stress when I have them. <laughs> Jake Bauer, nice Austin Riley there. He's going to be good for the Braves. Nice Tom Seaver. Jim Tomei, second year card. Got the rookie logo, though. Pretty awesome. Uh, oh, one of the best cards of 1987. Bo Jackson, Future Stars. Always love this card. Would love to get one signed. I don't know what it is about getting iconic cards autographed. I just think it's so cool. There's a sick 17 tops bunt Aaron Judge rookie. Do not have it going in the Aaron Judge PC. Uh, <clears throat> he's one of the guys I PC too, so definitely going in there. John Schmoltz, rookie. Chippa. Love the best. <laughs> I've said it enough. I love the best cards. I need to put a lot of these cards on the table. I don't have enough room, though. Uh, there's another sick Griffey. Love Griffey, man. Love the Griffey rookies. Still love them. I want 10,000 of them. I've got close to 1,000. I want 10,000. <laughs> Is that being greedy? I don't know. And there's one of the most famous cards of the 80s. Next to the Don is the, the Canseco 86 Tops Traded. Nice Lee Smith, 84 Flair. Another nice John Schmaltz rookie to go along with the Bowman. Very nice. Put those guys together. There's a nice Tomei. Tomei's awesome. Cool dude, too. 82 Donner. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm getting a frog in my throat. Donnie Baseball rookie. You can never have too many of these, either. Like, growing up in New York, this was the card, man. Oh, man. Any Donnie Baseball, but top so iconic. Love Don, Don Mattingly. He's so great. I wish he would have gotten a World Series, and I wish he would have you know, gotten that ring, and I wish he would have been healthier so he could play a little bit longer. He would definitely have been a Hall of Famer. Another awesome Griffey rookie. Beautiful. Love Griffey. And then that's a pretty cool one, the 92 uh, Best. This was uh, like an insert, as you can see uh, from this one right here. It's got a gray border on the bottom. It's got a blue foil there, but yeah, that's the insert right there. BC12 bonus card, I believe that's what it stood for. Nice Biggio, 89 tops. Um, I think this one is listed as a rookie in the Beckett. <clears throat> you 
even though he had the 88 uh, score traded in the 84, or, I'm sorry, 88 flare update. Those were like the ex-rookies back then. Nice Barry Larkin Hall of Fame rookie. And another Tomain Klesko. Klesko doesn't get enough credit. He was a freaking awesome beast too back in the day. <clears throat> he had a lot of solid, good, solid years. Um, kind of like, uh, like a, I don't want to compare him to like a Juan Gonzalez, but. <clears throat> okay, here's a, here's a big uh, stack of cards here. I'm going to just um, set them right here on top of Mr. Derek Jeter. Let's see what we got here. Here's some of the USA Baseball, I believe, these are from this year, right? Yeah, 2020. Austin Martin, Tanner Allen, looking for like Bobby Witt in here, Junior, and stuff like that. There's a nice uh, Dustin May rookie card, Turkey Red. Mr. Trout, never have too many Trouts. Trout's my uh, one of my one of my number one PC guys. Oh, and Harper too, obviously. You guys know that Harper and Trout. And then Vladdy. Nice Shohei. Um, is that a reverse negative? He doesn't. He doesn't bat both. He bats left. But that picture is of him. Oh, it is a reverse negative. Cause look it, that's an eye right there. They like have it's. It's not like he posed that way. See the sevens backwards, and then uh, Otani is spelled across this way. And then that is cool. So that must be a, some kind of a short print. Oh, it's right there. Look on the back there. It's an error. Nice. I have no idea what this thing's worth, but I gotta check that one out. That is sick. I don't, Mike. Did you even know that was an error? Uh, um, just out of curiosity, leave me a comment below. Let me know. Uh, there's a nice Chris Bryant. Oh, nice going right to the PC. I love Bryant. Bryant Harper Trout are my top three. But but I've got so many more now. Like I love Judge, and uh, a lot of these young guys coming up. I just I've been PCing them. Pete Alonzo, big time. Uh, so that's cool. Kevin Biggio, Craig's son, artist proof rookie. Very nice. Another Bryant. Oh, is this like a box of mostly PC? Another Harper there? Michael Chavis rookie? I got a pack of uh, gallery with his rookie on the top. I have not opened any 19 gallery. I opened up so much 18. I just went through and bought a bunch of packs with the uh, with the rookies. I think I didn't buy them because I didn't have a lot of money to be dumping into those mega boxes with the two guaranteed autographs. So I was just buying packs with uh, rookies on top. Nice Koufax Hall of Fame. Another nice Harper. Goldie, this guy right here. Buy his rookies, guys. I think his rookies got to explode one of these days. Another Harper. This one my probably one of my favorite Harper cards. I love it with the Philly Fanatic headband on. And his hair just crazy. This guy plays with so much heart and passion. And I just love the fire he brings to the game. Ronald Acuna Jr., awesome. Mookie Betts, awesome. Aaron Nola, whose brother is a really good hitter in the minors right now. Beautiful Christian Pache. Jordan, that's sick. Love it. Oh, that's a sick card. I got to get some of these guys sleeved up. I definitely got to get these sleeved up. Nice Yelly. Rafael Devers, purples. I got to carefully, I don't want to scratch them. Fernando Tatis Jr., another Trout to go with the Trout PC. Another Welcome to Philly, Bryce Harper. Uh, another Otani. Lourdes Gurriel. Another Goldie. I love the Sacuna card. I don't know why. I love the OxyClean logo in the background. That's awesome. Another Trout update, All Star Game card. Pujols highlights uh, some kind of a, some kind of a, I forget what they call these things, but I love them. That's pretty cool. Kind of looks like the uh, 55 Bowman, with it's kind of like in a TV, but Mr. Doc Gooden, Dr. K, Chris Bryant, see you in the PC, buddy. Austin Meadows, Dominator, beautiful. I love this speckly, prismy, whatever it's called. Um, another nice Shohei, another nice Harper. I'd love to meet Harper, like, when it's not like a crowded area when he just ignores everybody. Because I think he's probably a pretty cool dude. Uh, Kyle Ripken Jr., very nice. Louis, uh, Jesus Lazardo, good rookie prospect. Nice Vladi, hopefully he had a comeback killer year. Nice, nice Mike Trout, adding it to the PC too. Forrest Whitley, I think he's a, a pretty good prospect. Michael Porter Jr., very nice. So there's a lot of good cards in this stack right there. And that's only half the stack, guys. I felt like I just opened up a brick, except for this was way better than a brick. Alrighty. Nice Darius Garland Prism Rookie. Very nice. Cameron Johnson Prism Rookie. Kobe White. This guy's sick. 
for the uh, Bulls, another nice Crusades, Kobe White. Daniel Jones, rookie. Noah Fant, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what that pattern's called either. Jamal Dean out of 75, die cut, press proof die cut, very nice. Chris Winkie, I remember this guy. Didn't really have much of a career, but I still love those 91 <laughs> classic best. Mo, 2000 and... Sick? Uh, I can't remember. Gosh, nine. That's what I was going to say, nine. Oh, this is a funny one right here. Kevin Brown dressed up in throwback, and then he uh, used eye black to paint a beard on his face. It looked like back in the old days, in the 1800s. Uh, Garrett Anderson. Gosh, this guy could be a Hall of Famer, too. This guy was so amazing. Amazing baseball player. Troy Percival, another guy with a great career. JT Snow, look at that, guys. Oh, represent Albany. Mike, shout out to Albany. Uh, that's Albany County Yankees. Uh, I, went, <laughs> I went to these games when I was a kid, and I've been back to the field before I moved out to Utah, and it is just overgrown and nothing there. I mean, the field's still there, but it's just overgrown, and it's very, very sad. But a lot of great Yankees came up through here, including Jeter, Bernie, all those guys, Andy Pettit. But there's a nice one. I love the Albany County Yankee cards. I, I just love them. i got to buy some team sets. Wilson Alvarez, Birmingham Barons. Nice Ronald Acuna. Spring has sprung. That's pretty cool. I think that's out of the... Uh, is that out of regular tops or is that out of... Maybe it is. Uh, nice Acuna Jr. That's the second, uh, second year card. J.D. Davis. This guy's a stud. I love him. Nice Victor Robles, second year cards. Oh, this is a nice card, guys. Kevin Biggio, uh, Rainbow Foil. Love it. Aaron Judge, going to the PC. Aloy, going to the, to the Aloy pile. Been, I've been stocking up on the Aloys. Same with Fernando Tatis. I got, I got a PC spot for those guys, too. Cody Bellinger, he's a PC guy for me. Acuna, I got a PC spot for him. Cody Bellinger, heck yeah. Uh, Shohei, that's pretty sick. Ooh, oh, that's pretty cool. Take a look at this. Chris Paddock, who's a great a great pitcher, and he's got a possible great career ahead of him. Sorry, I'm trying to get away to the flash. Numbered out of 99. Very nice. Very nice. That's like the bronze uh, memorabilia clubhouse collection. Very cool. I like that, how it's numbered out of 99. Very nice. Okay, let's see here. Gary Jennings Jr., that's pretty cool. Seahawks. Shout out to my nephew who loves the Seahawks. That's a pretty nice card right there. Oh, this is pretty cool. All right, guys. Go YouTube. Jackie Bradley Jr. throws. This guy has the most amazing rocket arm you ever saw in Major League Baseball. I mean, there's been a bunch throughout the years, but this guy is freaking awesome. Numbered out of 99. We got a green. Might be a St. Patrick's Day jersey or something. Very, very cool card. Love it. Check out his highlights. Guys, okay, so good. Oh, here's a nice Thurman Munson, 150. So this was out of, I think, last year's um, Topps Blaster Boxes. Very cool. Thurman, love Thurman. Love Thurman. I love a lot. I love all the old Yankees and Mets, though. All right. Kenneth Vargas. That's pretty cool. Out of Museum Collection. I love Museum Collection, too. Fun stuff to open. A little expensive. You kind of wanna, you kind of wanna buy a case of this stuff so you get that case hit to make it worth it. Cause just buying a box, you you could get some duds. But this is pretty sick. Very nice card. I love museum collection. And then Carson Wentz, guys, check it out. Beautiful Carson Wentz downrush threads card. Very nice. Great, great talented quarterback right there. Carson Wentz is. Okay, and stick these over here for a second. And then we got Oh, these are cool. These are really cool. I don't know if you guys are going to want to see them or appreciate them as much as I do, but I love I'm going to go through them kind of quick for you. Well, this is pretty cool right here. I got a bunch of the stickers, the 82 top stickers. So these came in uh here, I'll show you a picture. There you go. These came in a thing uh kind of like a box pack thingy. I'm not sure how oh, these oh look at that little that little touch of rubber cement or something to hold them down there and then they would open up so these came in this that one package i just showed you there uh and there's like 30 stickers in a box look at that dave winfield reggie jackson and then dave winfield and uh they would be like this okay these might even be 83s actually i can't remember and uh i think you'd get uh three of these per box there's nice craig nettles right there on the left 
and, um, and then you just peel, uh, you know, take them apart and uh, and put them in your binder. You know, lick the back, put them in the binder. So I'm not going to open all these because I don't. It'll take me a while because I don't want to damage them. Um, so I'm just going to stick them in here. But you get the idea with these. These are super cool. And uh, I might that one binder <laughs> that's got a couple in it. I might actually just go through and put all these in the binder because I think it'd be pretty cool to have a a full binder of all the stickers. That would be pretty stinking cool. There's a UL Washington, I think. They don't have any names on them. I think that's UL. Alrighty. And then here's some cool stuff, guys. I love these right here. I always love these. I, I kind of wanted to get like some great, some of them graded, like the ones I like, the old stickers with the logos on them. These are going to be from early 80s. Like I love the ones with the hats. I don't know why. Mets ones, of course. Love it. That one right there looks like it got chewed on by a mouse at some point. These are cool. I always love the certain certain team ones I loved. That's cool, isn't it? For a Cardinals fan. Put it on a top loader. Put it on a desk. Sleeve and top loader. That's cool. The old uh, Houston Astros logo. Nice Yankees. I love the stickers. I still I save all these. I don't... Some people think that, eh, it's a stupid sticker, it's throw it away, blah, blah, blah. Not me. I think that they're super cool. I love the, I mean, I love the old colors and stuff. They're so awesome. Yeah, let's take a quick peek here. I'll take a second here. Hopefully you guys are still still watching this video. It's a great video. And I got to do my closing. Oh, that's sick. Look at that. One, two, three, Mets. Yeah. These are definitely going to get put in a sleeve and top loader and, and, and displayed in my little man cave. That was a nice Yankees one. Apparently the mice like the Yankees too. <laughs> he was like, oh, Yankees. Oh, these are delicious. Thank you, Mr. Yankees. Okay. That's cool. I love the Padres colors back in the day. I love all the old throwback uniforms. Probably because of nostalgia. You know, I grew up watching them in these, these uniforms. Um, so... I'd love to buy some old game used Mets uniforms from back in the day. I don't want the uh the reproduction ones. I want the real deal. I got a lot of actual game used Mets uniforms, <clears throat> jerseys and stuff, mostly jerseys. I have some pants, some hats. But uh I would love to get um but they're more modern, they're two thousands mostly. I would love to get um some of the you know, eighty eight, eighty six and older uh Mets uniforms. Probably because that's when I became a Mets fan, and I just love those. And I would just love to hang a couple up in a shadow box. And there's some more. A bunch of Astros there. Alrighty. And then lastly, guys, I just want to show you this. The last thing in the box is... <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> there's another stack of these things, so these are freaking cool. I love them. I love them. I can't have too many of any of this stuff. I love it. So, alrighty. Alright, lost my flash there and everything else. Alright, well, I just want to say a quick thank you. Thank you to uh, to Derek. Oops, I'm going to cover that up there. Derek, man, thank you so much for your cards that you sent me. Uh, definitely got some Brett Favre's coming back and some Reggie White's coming back to you, okay, bud? And uh, thank you to my other guy who sent me these other cards here who I don't have a name for uh, right here from Hartford, Connecticut. I uh, appreciate you guys. I appreciate all you guys that have subscribed to my channel and that uh, enjoyed my videos. And uh, thank you to Mike. I really appreciate all the wonderful gifts that you sent me as well. Um, everything's so awesome. And this, this, this baseball card community is so awesome. I just really appreciate all you guys. Uh, don't forget to say a prayer for Mike. Uh, don't forget to say a prayer for Derek that he has amazing superpowers and becomes the best football player in high school history. So thanks, Derek. And uh, thank you, Mike, so much. And thank all you guys for watching. I really appreciate you all. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos. And hey, once in a while, go back in time, man, and just look at some of my old videos. <clears throat> i got videos for a long time, a lot of videos. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, because I love reading your comments. And please subscribe. You guys have a great day. See you soon. Later.